Hi, deep breath time. Morning. Okay. So, so, those of you who have been here before, you know where you are. Those of you that are new, hi, my name is Connie, and you have just entered Connie's little corner. I apologize for not getting this video out sooner. This is sooner. This is a Timu haul. I had unbelievable glitches yesterday. Three different times to the point that I ended up completely deleting the video that I had done. At first, the audio and video were not lining up, and then I got that fixed, and then I got two major interruptions, which, yeah, will set me off the edge. Um, and then I ended up hitting a wrong button, and lo and behold, I kind of like blew up the video myself. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to put it aside. I'm not going to do anything with it. And yes, you are noticing a new hair piece. Don't you like this one? See, let me show you back. Ta -da. This was my long, straight spaghetti hair, kind of ash blondy color. And this is a new piece that I got. Um, so you're seeing this on my head, and the link for it will be below. I like that the bangs are a little bit longer because I can put them off to the side. Or if I decide I want to, I can cut them and trim them and give myself some bangs. But as you can see, it fits very well on the scalp. Um, it doesn't, you don't see my own hair whatsoever in this. So oh, I don't know where I want that piece to go. <laughs> anyway, let me just pull them back. Oh, breathe. Okay, that's kind of fun anyway, right? Oh, where's the piece? So I don't know what that piece wants to do. Piece want to do. It wants to drive me crazy, so I'm just going to leave it alone and let it drive me crazy. Be doing this the whole video. Anyway, those of you that are new, please check down below in the description box, and you will find my link to Timu. You will also find my code, which I'll put right up here for you, AFC95851. That code will get new users 50% off your first purchase, but you have one hour from the time you download the app to use that code. You may lose it. If you don't meet that hour and you lose it, please drop me a message and let me know because I do have some alternatives uh, that I can tell you on the DL. All right. So for those of you who are brand new, have never shopped on Timu, have never put an order in on Timu. Right now they're doing 50% off your first order. I don't know how much longer it'll last. And they don't give us enough advance notice. It just might drop down again. So anyway, that being said, let's get on to this bag. Timu put three of my orders into one bag. So we're going to go through three orders today. This was part of it. Isn't this nice? I do like this. This uh, kind of really takes me back to when my hair was long and straight and kind of blah, blah, blah. This piece that you've seen me wear, this is the one with the bangs that I cut some layers into it. This was actually free. This was, I had gotten this uh, on a daily free item pick when you put in an order of $20 or more. So I had gotten this on the free item. Also in this order that I'm going through today, I had gotten the stand, which I did put together. It's a really nice little, it's a simple headstand. Okay, all the links to all this stuff will be below. Uh, if I can find the prices, I'll put the prices, but you, we all know that the prices change. So from what I pay to what you might pay might not be the same price. But as long as you have the link, you can check it out for yourself. This was really easy to assemble. Just had the two pieces you cross together, the hoop you put on top, so you have a headstand. So I really like that. So now I don't have to keep this up on top of the bedpost. I was keeping it way up here on the bedpost. Now I can actually set it aside and have it to where I can work on it and style it when it's not actually sitting on my head. So I love that. So there you go. It's the first three pieces in the order. That hair piece, this hair piece, and that stand. So we're off to a great start. You want to see what else was in this order? Ta -da! Yes, another tote. Look, this is a medium sized one. This is not super, super big. It's only about 12 and a half inches, maybe 13 inches this way, and about 12 inches up and down the side. Really nice canvas type design. 
Love it. Gray canvas handles. It does have a zipper closure. And zipper closure is not too deep. It's only about a half an inch down. So you don't have too much room. But inside, it has a really nice lining. It has a zipper pocket here in the back, but it does not have any slip pockets in the front. So I do love this one. And I don't call me, but I believe this one was like less than six dollars, maybe even less than five. I'll have to look, but the link will be down below for it. Another one of my totes. The pattern is on both sides. The bottom is a nice, just solid gray. These are all the colors that are in my kitchen. The white, the black, the red, the, the biscuit color or the cream color. And then the gray is the border down in the bottom around the floor. I didn't buy it because it looked like my kitchen. I bought it because I just like the colors. Isn't that cool? I love that. All right. Let's see what else is in this bag. Oh, this hair piece I'm wearing came with. There you go. All right. It came with a wig cap. This one's a mesh wig cap. So now I have three full hair pieces. I have the curly one, which I don't know if you can see. It's sitting over there on the dresser. It's right there. That's the curly one. And then this one over here, this is the layered feathered one. And this is the one that's long and straight and thin and blondish like my hair used to be. So far, this one is actually my favorite. I do have one more coming. It's in the gray, but it's a short one in the gray and kind of bouncy. Not really a bob, but I do have a shorter gray one because I do eventually totally want to embrace the grays. Okay. okay. So this came with this. That was a nice additive to have that. Let's see what we have in the bag. Okay. How's we do today you ready for the weekend it's friday this was originally 564 i know this because it's on the box it's 564 i'm at a two dollar and 13 cent price adjustment then i had a 43 cent price adjustment so i ended up only paying three dollars and eight cents for this and this this is a bright orange 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 insulated mug it's got the clip to go over the hole so you when you don't have a straw in it if you're not using the straw you can plug up that hole got that little gray right it's got the flip up for when you do want to drink out of the regular spot absolutely love this this is not a screw on top this is just a pressure top but it does have a good ring really nice stainless steel I'm trying to not glare on your face stainless steel interior and on the bottom, it has no non-slip protection whatsoever because it's all stainless steel. So there's like no paint to wear off. But it does have a lip if you want to put it on. However, what I also got in this order, and the link for this will also be down below, is a protector. You've seen me haul this and use these on my larger pink mug. Well, I got a yellow one because the yellow, I think, is going to go with just about every color mug I have. But it's standard size. It fits on this, so it will keep the bottom from sliding and protect it from if there's any sweating. These are so well insulated, though, I've never known them to sweat. So I really don't think it's going to. I'm not too concerned about it. Great item. Love that color. It does come in a bunch of other colors, too. All right. What's next? Oh, just little thing. How about this is a little tiny, like two and a half, three inch. Just little square canvas type. Look at the material. Here we go. Hold on. There you go. Canvas type material. Comes in different prints, but I got it with the cactus. Obviously, I'm in Arizona, right? So this is going to hold my erasers, my stick pins, my straight pins, my uh, write and wipe pens that I have. This is small enough and light enough. It does have a metal bar around the top edge of it. So if I put a couple of stick pins um the thumbtacks, so to speak, into it, into the wall, it will hold it up against the wall. So I think that's really little cool thing. Very reasonable in price. Again, all the prices and the links will be down below. All right, this one's still in the bag. So I know this one was 89 cents. And this is my first new thing I bought since I bought this house that is for Christmas. This is just a cute little Santa gnome. Just a little Santa gnome. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there you go. Little Santa gnome. Little nose, little white beard. 
very fluffy. This look, can you see how fluffy that is? Very, very fluffy. I like that a lot. He's really cool. He's just got a little nose showing. I know he's white, so I can't do anything about him glaring because he is just so white. But this will go over a wine bottle. I'm hoping it'll go over a couple of smaller Konos type lampshades that I have. So I'm going to try him. He comes in a lot of different colors. I think four or five different shades all together. But I got the white because it was basic. And if he fits where I want him to fit, I may just get the whole rest of his family. But you can't go wrong for the price. 89 cents for that. Pretty good deal. And he's not small. He's probably 10 in, eight, 10, 8 to 10 inches from the bottom of his beard to the top of his hat. It's big enough. It's going to be really cute to put on a gift bottle if you're doing a gift bottle of wine or something along those lines. I think that would be really cute. All right. Into the bag we go again. Ta-da! Eggs, anyone? Love this little case. This came with it. So you're on top with a vent hole. Can you see the vent hole on the top? And on the bottom, it's green with vent holes. And this egg is shaped conical, but at an angle. I like this because the pressed powder that I got didn't have a really good um, applicator. So I wanted this to use with the pressed powder so I can get better grip and fuller coverage. I don't like the little things, especially with my long nails. It gets hard to actually grab onto something that small. So I like this. It is washable. It comes in a variety of different colors. I just picked the basic color so that my makeup won't like, how do I describe it to you? It'll blend more color wise. It'll match the egg when I use the pressed powder. I don't really need it to contrast. I don't know. I'm kind of weird that way. <laughs> And I like the egg because it keeps the pressed powder that's on this thing, if it's not been washed, keeps it from going all over everything. It's a bonus, right? I like anything like that. Okay, next. I'm grabbing and I'm getting a couple things at once out of here. All right. This is still in the bag. This was 65 cents. I tell him what it's price. It's still in the bag. Even though I had computer disasters yesterday. This is what they, they're calling this a laundry wash bag. This is just a clear little plastic bag. Doesn't have any venting in it whatsoever. Not, it's not mesh. So this is not made to go inside your machine. This is made, say, for example, you go someplace and you've been swimming and you want to change out of your suit and you have no place to put it. You put your wet suit in here, you cinch it up, and when you get home, you take it out and dump, dump your outfit, whatever you're wearing, into the machine. So I thought it was a great little thing to have, kind of handy just to throw in my car because if you never know, something might happen that I might make a mess or maybe the dogs will make a mess and I have to clean up something or I have to use a rag and I don't know where to put the rag or, you know, especially like if you have an emergency with your car and you have a greasy situation, you don't want to leave those greasy rags laying all over your car. Get one of these disposable suckers to throw your grease rags in. I think that's going to be a great idea. I'm that in my car intentionally. This next item was $1.26 because it's still in the box. <laughs> this is for teeth whitening. Now, my teeth are greatly improving in their tone because I have been using the water flosser that I did the review on. This is a whitening stick. It comes with a tooth chart. And it shows you all the different levels of how yellow your teeth are to getting whiter. And then over here on this side, coming back to get to the absolute whitest. So it's like a circular chart. You go from there to here to here to here. So based on me matching it up to my teeth, I'm in the top row, fortunately, kind of like right over here, not quite in the middle yet. So I thought, well, I'll give my teeth a little boost and I will try this. So I tried this yesterday. I'm going to give you an honest rating on it. Here's what you do. You take the top off, and it has this little brush applicator. You brush this on each of your teeth, and then you have to smile for five minutes. You can't close your lips for five minutes. You need to keep your mouth open, your lips like this, 
for five minutes. Then you can relax. And after 15 minutes has passed from the beginning, not from the five, in other words, another 10 minutes after the five, then you're supposed to gargle um, and rinse, you know, and get out of your mouth. And you're supposed to see a difference. Well, let me tell you, number one, it was very difficult to smile like that for five minutes. It started hurting my cheeks. And a couple of times when I did slip and let my lips down, it burned. It, not a bad burn, but you could feel that like hot sauce kind of burn. All right. And then when I started to gargle and rinse it out, I was very careful not, you know, I was swishing and rinsing and spitting. The aftertaste in my mouth was horrible. It made me feel nauseous. I literally had to brush my teeth like crazy and then use the water flosser again like crazy just to get that out of my mouth. Me, personally, for my use, I cannot recommend this. This is going to be going in the guard budge. Um, I have already sent a request in to Timu for a refund on it. They have issued me a refund of the cost plus tax, so I'm going to be tossing this. But I did want to show it to you. Okay, you're always going to get that honest review from me. All right, what do we got next in the bag? Oh, now remember, these things are mostly unbagged because of what I went through yesterday, unbagging them on a video that wasn't successful. So back when I did the clothing haul where I had like over three dozen tops, you'll see the um, the thumbnail was my, my teal clam chair and it had a stack of clothes in it. That's the thumbnail. Well, the very first item I pulled on that video was this beautiful gray ribbed shirt, a little bit, a little fleecy, but not real fluffy. And then a few items beyond that, I pulled the same shirt in a, uh, like an olive green. Now I've got the same shirt in pumpkin. Light v-neck, short sleeves, really beautifully ribbed, long line, 31 inches, and it has a little slit on the side to give you a little bit of freedom on your hips so it's not grabbing and binding and getting all twisted up on your hips but i absolutely love 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 this color and i'd like to think this color kind of looks good on me yeah so this is really really nice so i can't wait to get this washed so that i can wear it uh we're still today's the first day and we're only what uh day after tomorrow's october Today, we finally hit our high. It's going to be only 99. <laughs> only? <laughs> yeah. I know. That's what you get for living in Arizona, right? Okay. This is going to go out um, in my... Was it a sponsored haul? I don't know. Anyway, I think it was a sponsored haul where I showed you, and I'll put another picture of it up for you. I had the basket that goes on my railing. So I got this little guy to go on my porch in my porch basket that's on the railing. Look at He's a little gnome. I love it. He's got the orange beard, orange feet, orange hands. Got the candy. I love candy corn, by the way. That is my favorite. I know a lot of you guys don't like it, but I absolutely love candy corn. Got the candy corn, and I love these little glittery bats. Can you see how they glitter? Let me turn this one. There we go. They're very glittery. And I love that he's holding them like they're little balloons. He's got a little strap, and he's got this little thing. He is just so adorable. So he's going to sit in the middle of that basket. Speaking of that basket, I do want to tell you one thing. When you look up here at the picture of the basket, you'll see that I put those orange artificial flowers in it. Well, that was only, what, a week and a half ago, maybe not even 10 days. All the orange has faded in the Arizona sun. There's no orange left to it at all. So what I decided that I'm going to do, instead of investing in more flowers that might bleach out, I'm just going to go and I'm going to get some spray paint. And I'm just going to do bursts of the orange, the pumpkin color and the spray paint. Uh, yeah, I'm. I was really disappointed. When I went out to get the mail the other day, I looked, I'm like, wait a minute, what's wrong with this? And I thought, oh, somebody took them. Nope, they're still there. They're just all completely faded down. So I'm a little heartbroken, 
but I'll take care of it. They weren't that expensive. But yeah, I'm sad. Okay, what else? Hold on, I pull this bag closer to me. It's tipping away. Okay. Now, I think you've all seen my pink fluffy travel mug. Hopefully, you may have seen it. But now I have two more. I got this beautiful shade of blue. This is like a periwinkle blue. It's not navy. It's not teal. It's just a really pretty shade of blue. And it says coffee on it. And then, of course, I got the white. Whoops. i got to go over here away from the glare. I got the white one. And the white one also says coffee on it. I love these tops because with these tops, you this one right now is open. So I can drink out of here. And it does have a little air bubble dot right there, the little hole in the air bubble. I don't know if you can see that little hole. Hold on. Where are you? There it is. Okay, that little hole right there. So it doesn't go glug, glug, glug all over you. But these tops, when you push these tops back up, hold on, they're tight. Wow, are they tight. Okay. <laughs> it locks down. So when you're traveling, you just push it down, and there's a piece. I don't know if you can see right in there in the middle. Hold on. Return it this way. There we go. In the middle. It's got this little tab that is shaped just like this hole over here. So when you close it, that little tab flicks down into that hole and seals it up. Love that about these. So these are great. These are the same size bottoms as this. So this piece, if I do want to put it on one of these, it fits. And because it's yellow, I can put it on either one, and it'll match. So, yeah, I'm really happy with those. So now all my big, ugly plastic um, portable coffee cups are all going, well, the ones that are decent I'm going to donate, and the ones that aren't, they're going in the garbage, right? We got these. These are insulated. These will do hot or cold, but I specifically did get them as travel coffee mugs. And this way, if the one I'm using is um, in the dishwasher, I don't have to worry about it, right? Okay, next little item. This was like 20-some-odd cents. I don't think it was much. They call this a rain card. It's just a little plastic bag, basically, with a hood and slits for your arms. I'm not going to open it all the way up, but you get the idea. So if you do get caught in a rainstorm, you have something you can throw over yourself quickly. This I got with mom in mind because her and I have been caught in the rain a lot. I don't want her getting damp and soaked um, and risk getting sick. So I got this with her in mind. And this is going to go in my car in my glove compartment. And I'll keep that handy for her. Next. Oh, come on. You know what these are, right? These are for the bottom of planters. This little white one, as you can see, it's not completely round. It's kind of like hexagon. It's got little points on it. It's three inches wide in the center. The green one is three inches wide in the center. But this one has little ripples, little ripples around the top of it. These are to go under my planters in my plant pole. My plant pole actually has like big trays, like almost a well that's about an inch deep that the pots sit in. I don't like it when the water drains through and then the whole well is brown and icky and you have to kind of look at it. It doesn't look good. So I got a couple of these. I figured this will be enough to catch the little drips and the muddy water that might come out the bottom and not make the whole planter thing look yucky. So I think... One of the both of these were under a dollar, but I think one of them was like 60 some odd cents and the other was maybe a little more expensive. But both of them were under a dollar each. I think it's a great idea. It's just it's little things for around the house, right? We all need those little things for around the house. And for else, put around the house. Ta -da! See what this says? Free daily. Just like this hair piece that's behind me, all right? This I got as one of my choices for a free item when I put in an order that was $20. So it's just a recycle label. I have two bins in my kitchen, and they're very different. There's a silver one that opens automatically on a motion sensor, and that's for regular garbage. And then I have a red one for recycle. Red, recycle, get it? 
Well, apparently my guests don't get it because they seem to think that, I don't know, the other one, I'm always digging cans and stuff and newspapers and whatnot out of the regular trash and I have to move it to the recycle. So I figure if they ain't getting a red recycle, I put this on the lid, it should make it easy. So if they see specifically that bin is for recycle, then they'll go to the other one. And, you know, mostly my neighbors uh, that come over that are like in their 80s and whatnot, they think about it. They just know they want to be nice and throw it away. They're just throwing it in the wrong spot. Okay, 10 cents. Let's see, there we go. Can we get there? We go. Ah, like there. Okay, mailbox numbers. These are reflective mailbox numbers. It's one set. It goes from zero to nine. So you have 10 numbers. Fortunately, my address, I do not have a duplication of house numbers. Even though I have five numbers in my address, none of them are duplicates. But for 10 cents, who cares if your house number was 66666? So you buy, you know, four or five packs, you're still only spending 50 or 60 cents because it's only 10 cents a pack. So seriously, and these are reflective. They peel off the backing. You won't see the yellow. You'll just see they just peel off the backing. You stick them on the box. So being as that I'm getting ready to paint my mailbox from the nasty old rusty black that it is, and I'm going to paint it, I figured I'm going to put some numbers on it because it doesn't have any numbers on it. There you go. Keep easy, 10 cents. You know me in the bargains. All righty. Hold on. I'm going to pull these out. Um, you didn't see those, did you? Did you peek? You know how I feel about peeking, right? Okay. Look at this little guy. And walk him up. It's like with the frog and an ant. It's got those same weird bug eyes. He's an ant. He's about three inches. He does have, I know, he could be an uncle. Not that kind of an ant. He has little holes here where you can screw him into something or zip tie or, or fly him into something. I haven't decided if I'm going to put him in the flower box with this guy, uh, kind of like as his little buddy or, you know, something like this, maybe over this side under his arm. Right? I don't know if I'll do something like that. I don't know if I'm going to have him climbing up my uh, screen door towards the gnome that I have hanging on the screen door. But I know he's going to go outside. And it's going to be part of my fall decor. And the fall will take me all the way to uh, Black Friday. And then Black Friday, like most people, I start changing over to holiday stuff. But, yeah, I thought he was just cute as a bug. That was a good pun. Come on. Give me a break. That was a good pun. All right. I know we're all going crazy with USB stuff. Everything that I've been getting lately from my sealer to my chopper my fans, my lights, my portable air conditioning, everything is USB. So I got these. Now, this one has seven USB ports. This one has four. One of these was free and one of these I paid for as part of an order. This is the one I paid for. This bigger one was what I got free as part of my $20 order. I actually got five free items in that order. It just happened to be what Timo was doing that day. It's like, you know, you pick this item and I was buying from the from the Timo exclusive area where I was getting three, five, you know, five percent off of everything I shopped for. Because I was doing that, they gave me my daily free item and then they gave me four other free items to claim. This was one of the other free items. <laughs> so this has four spots for USB, and on the end, it has this smaller one. Can you see right there? Right? For different plugs, if you need to charge it. Each one of these has an on-off switch of their own for each piece, and it has lights. So when this is plugged in, and unfortunately, I don't have a spot to plug it into right now. If this is plugged in, these will light up. and They give like a bluish glow. When they're off, you won't see the light. When they're on, you will. That's going to give you the extra way to know that you've left something on or maybe you're done charging something and you just want to turn that particular item off. You don't need it. Say, for example, 
once I get this all set up and I plug in um, my computer or I plug in my fan and I don't want to use it, I can just hit the switch on here and shut it off. So this one does not have a very long cord. It's about 15 inches. So it'll go far enough to get into my extension that goes into my regular wall outlet. Um, but I thought, you know what? I bought this one and then it says for free, you can get this one. Same thing, different color. And this one has seven USB ports, all with their on off switches, all with their light bars so that you can see if they're lit or not appear across the top, all these. And on the end, it also has that same pinpoint jack so that you can plug into there for something like that. So these are a great deal. My only beef with these, my only complaint is these cords are really short, but hopefully it's going to be long enough. Even if I have to pigtail them, in other words, if I have to take this one, and I have to plug it in to the black one and then plug this in someplace in so I could make an extension out of them. Okay. I could do that. You know, uh, free and pennies basically for the other one. Great deals. You don't have to spend a lot of money. If you don't have that Timu exclusive, Go to your phone. You must have the phone app in order to access Timu Exclusive. And I know in some places, I think Australia and maybe Greece, a couple of my um, viewers have told me they don't have the Timu Exclusive where they live in the country they live in. I think the UK does. Don't quote me. Uh, but if you know whether or not your country has the Timu Exclusive, please drop something in the notes, yes or no, you know, where you live, and yes, they have it available. Timu exclusive, you have to have the phone app. So you must download the phone app in order to get the Timu exclusive. And in there, you'll get a ton of free items, extra credits, free credits. You'll earn up to 5% cash, not cash back, excuse me, credit back on all your purchases, right? So it's worth having it. It's going to save you a fortune. It's going to get you lots of freebies like you always see in me get freebies. It's the best place to get your credits. Check my tips and trips. Hold on. Ah. Mm. Hydrate. Okay. Check my tips and tricks part three. That will tell you all about where to get the extra credits from. And it will go over the team exclusive. Lots of screenshots in there, hopefully, to get you where you got to go. I'm all about getting you guys to save money. All right. This was $2.98. These are 18 gel pens. All different colors. 18 from metallics, golds, bronze, purples, yellows, oranges, pastels. All different colored gel pens. And I did try one of these to see how they wrote. I went with the hot pink one simply because it was on the end and easy to grab. So I will show you. Hold on a second here. Really, really nice. Fine point, but it writes real. Oh, yeah. See, there's my code. AFC95851. I do have it memorized now, but I didn't then. So even something that looks as bright as this hot pink one, it writes really well. So it's got all different colors in here. It's even got this one. Now, this one says um, that it's a neon color. I want to see what this one is because the cap is white. Hold on. Oh, silver. It comes out very silvery. That's good to know. Okay. Because it didn't have the color listed on it. Now I know white is actually silver. Okay. So white's nice. I love that it comes in this cool little case which means I can put them all away someplace and pull them out as I need them. Um, yeah, what can I say? Look at the price, two ninety eight for 18 They have smaller packs, and they do have bigger packs. So pick your pack, right? Okay, pick a pack. Okay, speaking of picking a pack, ta-da! Levi! Come here, Levi. Here he comes. Did you see him? Here he comes. 
All right, these are just what they say duck jerky strips. There was nine of them in here for $2.58. I wrote it on the back. Nine pieces. In my store, these duck jerky strips are almost $10 for a pack of nine. And in the dollar store, all right, they don't sell them in the dollar in the dollar store for $1.25. We have them in the special section and they're like five dollars. Two fifty-eight. Hello. And my doggies love them. oh my doggies. I think my doggies want these. Hold on. Oh, Sadie Bug. Hello, Sadie. Sadie, would you like one? Yes? How do you ask? Sadie? Would you like one? What do you say? Okay. Levi, sit down. I don't know if you can see him. He's down here. Hold on. There's the boy. What do you do? Pull up. All right. Good job. All right. Go. <laughs> yeah. They've already had one each out of this bag, and they love them. So I'm definitely going to order more, and I'm probably going to order several packs because I don't know if this price is going to go up or down. With Nobody can beat this price for these things. They go through them quick. You know the kind of dogs they are. They have strong jaws. But if you have something smaller with not such a strong bite, these will last a little bit longer. But they do, they break pretty easy. They're crunch. They're almost biscuit like, but they love them. And they're very healthy. Let's see. Mm, here's the ingredients 85% duck breast meat, 5% cornstarch. 6% glycerin, sorbitol is only 3.9, and wine salt is less than 1%. It's one-tenth of 1%. It's all healthy stuff. It's 85% real duck. This cracks me up. I mean, cracks me up. My dogs love it, and I love to spoil them. So anything that I can get for a bargain that spoils them, yeah, I'm happy. Okay. I don't know what I put my little egg. Anyway, oil control, oil control, banana powder. This is pressed powder. Everybody has to have pressed powder or something to finish your look when you're done with your little bit of makeup. And I don't wear a lot of makeup, but this didn't come with an applicator. It just comes with this little spongy protective thingy. That's all it has in it, one of those things. But it's a really nice compact, and you can see it's banana powder. Everybody is getting away from the talcum powder because of all the problems they're finding now it's caused. So oil control is definitely something that I need because I get shiny. I don't mind. I mean, it's me. What you see is what you get. I don't do all that stuff that makes me look like a completely different person. This is me. I'm okay in my own skin. But I don't always like to shine when I go out. So when I do go out and I have an event, I use now I have the oil control breast powder to use. I'm happy with that. What do you think? Are you looking at this like it's my own hair? Or are you like not paying attention that it's actually a hair piece? Look at the way it waves in. I love the way it waves in like this. This is the way my hair used to frame my face and do that. It's so cute. I actually think so far this is my favorite one. I don't know. I mm, This one and the curly one over here, I think that's my favorite one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep using this one because this one doesn't breathe. And I get really, really hot wearing it. And it always feels like it's slipping and sliding around. This one, you can't even tell where my own hairline is. It looks a lot more natural with the dark ombre on the top and then fading down into the lighter blonde. And that one hair piece, this one. That won't do what I want it to. <laughs> Isn't that? Oh, sorry. Ah, it's way too close. Isn't that much more natural, right? Okay. A few more things in here. Oh, these were $3.98. And yes, even though October is in a couple of days, I'm still getting flip-flops. I just thought these were adorable. I love the purple and teal combination. And I didn't have any purple flip-flops. They've got a nice waffle bottom to them. So I don't anticipate any slipping or anything. It's, it's just going to be good for walking 
And it's got the waffle. Can you see the bumps on, that it's going to be under your feet? So it's going to be very, they're, they're soft and squishy. Hopefully the idea is that they're going to be very therapeutic on my feet and give me a nice waffle cushion to walk on. We'll see how they are uh, when I actually start to wear them. But these, oddly enough, these were um, not marked in the weird sizes. This was actually marked. Let me see if it says on the bag. Okay. So this is what they call purple 39. So a 39 is like a seven and a half. And I find for flip-flops that have the wider band for me with this wide wider band is much more comfortable than a flip-flop with a skinny band if I go to a seven and a half instead of a seven. So absolutely love these. Love the colors. They do come in a bunch of other colors. But I really like these, and for the price, I can't complain. Now, this is how I store my flip-flops, so that they don't take up a lot of room. Just like this. I tuck one into the other. Everybody has their own way of doing it, but this is how I store them. So that they don't take up so much room. Just stack them, just like that. You do you. <laughs> you do you. I'll do me. Where is that piece? Where is that piece? I don't know. It's right there. That one. This way. This way. Do you want to go this way? Okay. Not too much more left in this bag, and we will be done for today. But believe me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine more orders sitting here. I have another sponsored order coming in. I have a couple more uh, collaborations that I'm doing with other companies that are coming in. I still have two or three more of my own orders coming in. <laughs> anyway, 89 cents for these, and I know because they're still in the bag. These are little pulls. They look like little crystals. Can you see? Just like little crystals. They're on two-sided tape. I actually got these to put on either side of my recycle bin. I don't have a way to grab it without getting all ick. Even if I take the top off, it doesn't have a lip or anything on it. So I figured, all right, if I put each of one of these on each side, I can just grab it by these and take it out. Hopefully this will adhere strong enough. If not, I'll find another use for them. I always have all sorts of drawers and things like that that I need to pull open that don't have handles on them, um, especially out in my, my tool bench where I make my jewelry. But I thought they were cute. They're just little crystal knobs. Under a buck for two of them. Pretty good deal. I'm going to seal them up until I'm ready to use them so I don't lose them. Those are going to be hard to spot because they're crystal. This was a $1.34. Still in the bag, so I know. Here, Charlie. There we go. And for $1.34, I got this. What size did I get this in for? What? Okay. So I got this for my pointer finger. My fingers are so swollen today. Hold on. Yeah, my fingers are too swollen today. All right, so I'll put it on this finger. This is just a really nice faux turquoise ring. Doesn't have any stones on either side of it. It has what looks like little hearts on either side of the band. But there's no stones except for the center stone, which is a really nice turquoise. Not too, too big. Thin band. There we go. Kind of cool. Really pretty. So I did get this to go on my pointer finger, and I can force it to go on, but then my fingers are swollen as they are. I don't really have a big bad. Okay. Bunch of other rings in here. Don't know what their prices were, but I do know they were all pretty much under a dollar. This one I also got for my pointer finger. This one is just red heart on that side, big red heart in the center, and it's got a red heart on the other side. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, camera. There we go. So for this one, it did fit your size. I tried it on yesterday. But 
I'm not happy with the quality of the setting. It's really lacking in the quality of the setting, and it does look very gumball machine-ish, so to speak. So it's, uh, well, I mean, what do you expect for under a dollar, right? But it's pretty, and I think from a distance, if I am wearing it, nobody's going to really notice anything other than I have a red ring on. Eh. You can't be happy with everything, you know? Still work. I hope it'll still work. Right. This one, I absolutely adore this one. This one I got to go on my ring finger. And this one is a, cit a yellow citrine. And I love it because it looks very vintage. Can you see? It looks almost like a filigree setting that it's in. It doesn't have any other stones around it. It just has a really nice filigree design. And that yellow citrine, which is a stone for November. Um, my birthday's not November, but I just like the yellow stone. Let's see if it'll focus a little bit better if I stop moving. Okay. I don't know why I can never get rings. There we go. Really, really pretty ring. I love the filigree designs on the sides of this. Absolutely love it. And it does run true to size for what I ordered. So I'm okay with that. And then this one, this one I got to go on the top of my middle finger. Look at this snake. Look at the bling in this thing. All the way from head to tail, stones everywhere. Even on the back side as it wraps around, it's got stones. Look at that. And, of course, this is an adjustable ring. One size fits all. You just open it up to whatever size you want it. Absolutely love, 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 love that. All right. I'm going to put these away. It's a little bit of everything in this. I got a piece of clothing, and I got some rings. Got some makeup, got some kitchen stuff, got some holiday decor. Oh, and I got a pair of earrings. These were 95 cents. They're still in the bag. I love these. Love them. Can't wait to wear them. These are very boho, gypsy, dangle type. But I love the colors. Let's see if I can get them where you can see them. There we go. Look at that. Orange bead on top. So turquoise on the bottom. Orange and yellowish beads in the center. Green beads going around the circle. All this really nice design on those. I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. And they do hang long. Put them here in my ear. You'll see that they hang pretty good length right there. I love that. Yes, I have my little... Uh, what do I have in today? I have my owls that I got from Team. I have my little owl earrings in. But I love these. I think these are absolutely beautiful. Very, very, very well made. They're on the right kind of what we call French hooks. They're not on those crazy fish hooks, which I can't stand. But nice colors. Look at that. Wonderful detail in there. I wouldn't change a thing about them. Wouldn't change, wouldn't change, wouldn't change. All right, perfect. What do we got left? One thing? That's it? That's it? This is the last thing. Okay. This was $13.89. Now, this was in an order with the little ant. Okay. And the oil control. The entire order, now considering this alone is almost $14, $13.89. The ant, I know the, the uh, oil control was 3 or $4, something like that. So the whole order was close to like $19, almost $20. But well, it was over $20 because I got that freebie with it. This entire order that this was part of was $0.02. Cents. That's all I paid, $0.02. Cents. Because I had so many credits 
from all the things that I taught you guys that technically it was almost free. If I would have waited another day, maybe for another price adjustment, I might have gotten it completely at a zero cost. Um, but this was on, this only had like two or three of them left, and I didn't want to lose this because this came with the SIM card. So what this is, is this is a light panoramic, Wi-Fi panoramic camera with light for your front porch or wherever you want to put it, back porch, front porch, garage, whatever the case may be. You get real-time remote viewing. So when it's running, it will tie to your camera so you can see exactly what's going on as it's happening. 360-degree rotation. So the base of this, I'm going to show this to you. This is heavy. The base of this will completely swivel all the way around, 360 degrees from side to side. So it's not like somebody can get behind it because it's on a motion sensor. This piece also swivels up and down, depending if it wants to look further down. It can go completely straight down if you want it to, or it can come out at an angle, whatever you wish. It'll turn wherever it detects the motion. Okay, this is, I'll show you in front, this is 5G. It will screw into a regular light socket, but if you don't have a light outside, it gives you a socket that you can connect to the wiring. And it will just screw into the socket and then it will just pivot however, it will sit like this and then it will just pivot however you want it. Okay. It does come with the hardware if you do need to mount it to the wall. It comes with the SD card. All right, so it's got this, I don't know. Let's see if it'll tell me here. 32 gigs. So that's a good size. The memory card is 32 gigs. It goes in here. There's a slot where you put it in when you turn it on. And if you ever, if you take it out to use it, there's a reset button where you just push the little reset button and it will clear the memory, so to speak, and you can start from scratch. This stuff is all transferable over to your phone. It is You've got a password on here that's your own password, so you do want to take the sticker off after you load it. Um, it's got all the qualifications on the side of this. I really like that this has, let me show you, hold on. Let me tip it this way. Okay. So it has all the lights. You can see all the way around, it's got the little lights. In the center, it's got your camera right there. And then down here, right little dot right there, that's your motion sensor. So that picks up the motion and tells the camera which way to turn. So you have your lights, and you can turn it off and on at will. This is going to stay on all the time. Um, and because it's motion sensor, I'm not too worried. You know, we'll see how, it, you know, I'll, I'll test it out myself by walking outside the front door and whatnot to see how this works. This is all the features I needed. A little more expensive, but come on, 14 bucks to include the card and the wall hardware and this itself. Let me put it back in the wrapping. Hold on. Get it back in there. Okay. It's in this nice little box, and it does come with instructions. And on one side, the instructions are in that foul language that we talked about before because it's way out of my ballpark i'm telling you but the other side it has very clear instructions everything from hooking it up how to connect it to your phone how to store and transfer the data and the information how to program it everything about it it's all here on this nicely demonstrated page i love that it has screenshots to walk you through everything uh, very clear. I can't wait to get this set up. And if this video is successful in loading, then it'll be set soon. So that's it. That's three orders. Very low prices. I had lots of price adjustments on things. All the links for everything you see here are going to be below. And again, I want to thank everybody for hanging with me. I do have a lot more Timu hauls to do for you. So we'll play catch up a little bit. And every once in a while, I am going to throw something in there for you. I have some wonderful jewelry coming from another company, an online company uh, that I'm going to collaborate with. I also have, oh gosh, what else do I have? 
I don't know. Um, I have two or three or four things coming from companies, plus my own orders. And I have a full um, wardrobe coming from Timu, a sponsored haul from Timu, and it'll have all fall clothing. Well, for me, it's fall clothing. So there'll be a clothing haul coming at you. I really appreciate all my new uh, subscribers. I appreciate everybody who came back and everybody who hasn't been here before. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're new, again, please go check out Tips and Tricks 1, 2, and 3. You will learn a lot that Timu itself will never teach you. Um, it's all in there. I also want to give everybody a heads up. There's this great lady. Her name is April Rain. April has a channel called Menopause and Madness. I love her. She is hysterical. She's got good hauls, a mixture of everything. Uh, she is a makeup person, so if you do like to be unique with your makeup, you got to go see Menopause and Madness. Go with April Rain. Let's help her build her channel. She's been very instrumental to me, and I think we can do the same for her, right? We take care of each other. That's what we're supposed to do. Here I am, cockeyed again, and once again, you're not telling me that I'm cockeyed. <laughs> okay, I'm loving this hair, by the way. Anyway, thumbs up, share it, hit that subscribe button. My analytics tell me that 70% of the people who watch my videos are not my subscribers. That's my appalled face. I'm sorry. I, yes, I'm shocked, but you know what? You can fix that. There's a little button right down below that says subscribe, and it doesn't bite. But the rewards are amazing. <laughs> That's my regular viewers who are subscribers. I gotta go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Everybody stay comfortable. Above all else, please stay sweet, stay hydrated, and I will catch you all again in a couple of days.